40 very important skull related MCQ questions that will help you a lot to solve many questions based on this topic. Let's begin the topic. The first question What is the function of the human skull? Your options are protection of the brain, digestion of food, hearing, and vision. So, what is the function of the human skull? The right answer is protection of the brain. The primary function of the human skull is to protect the brain from the external injuries and damage. The next question How many bones make up the adult human skull? How many bones actually make up the adult human skull? Options are 8, 12, 22 and 28. Here we go, the right answer is 22. The adult human skull is comprised of 22 bones, including the cranial bones and facial bones. The third question, very interesting. Which bone forms the forehead and the roof of the eye sockets? So, which bone form the forehead and the roof of the eye socket? The answers are maxilla, zygomatic, frontal and phenoid bone. The right answer, the bone that forms the forehead and the roof of the eye sockets is frontal bone. The frontal bone forms the forehead and the roof of the eye socket. The fourth question, it's quite interesting. Look at it. The mandible is also known as. So, what is the other name of mandible bone? Your options are cheekbone, jawbone, nasal bone, or parietal bone. The right answer is jawbone. The mandible is commonly referred to as the jawbone. See, the other name of mandible is jawbone. The fifth question, very interesting. Which bone is often referred to as the keystone of the cranial floor? Options are temporal bone, phenoid bone, parietal bone or occipital bone. The right answer is phenoid bone. The phenoid bone is often called as keystone of the cranial floor due to its central and vital location within the skull. The sixth question is, friends, if the video helping you, then please do support us. We need your support because your support motivates us to bring good content for you. Let's continue. The next question, the auditory or cycles, which are the smallest bone in the human body, are located in which part of the skull? These are the smallest bone in the human body and where they are present in a skull. Your options are cranial bones, facial bones, middle ear as well as sutures. The right answer is it is in the middle ear. The auditory or cycles called as malleus, incus and stapus bones are located in the middle of our ear, specifically within the temporal bone. Let's go for the question number 7. Which bone contains the foramen magnum, the opening through which the spinal cord enters the skull? Options are occipital bone, ethymoid bone, zygomatic bone and nasal bone. The right answer is occipital bone magnum. The foramen magnum is located in the occipital bone at the base of the skull. Question number 8. The bones that make up the human skull are joined together by, by which the bones of the human skull are joined together. Options are tendons, cartilage, sutures or ligaments. The right answer is sutures. The bones of the human skull are connected by 
immovable joints called sutures. Question number nine: Which bone forms the lower posterior part of the skull and articulates with the first cervical vertebra? At last, answers are phenoid bone, temporal bone, occipital bone, and parietal bone. So, which is the right answer? The correct answer is occipital bone. The occipital bone forms the lower posterior part of the skull and articulates with the atlas, the first cervical vertebra. Let's move on to the question number 10. What is the function of the paranasal sinuses found in the certain skull bones? The options are hearing, brain protection, lightening the skull and vision enhancement. So, so what does paranasal sinus does? The right answer is it actually helps us to have lightening in the skull. The paranasal sinus found in the some facial bones help lighten the skull and provide the resonance for the voice. Question number 11. Which bone connects the two halves of the mandible in the human skull? Options are maxilla, nasal bone, hyoid bone, mental symphysis. The right answer is mental symphysis. The mental symphysis is the point of connection between the two halves of the mandible in the human skull. Let's move on to the question number 12. What is the primary function of the ethmoid bone in the human skull? Options are vision, smell, hearing and taste. So what is the actual work of ethmoid bone? The answer is smell. The ethmoid bone is responsible for housing and olfactory bulbs which are essential for the sense of smell. Number 13. Which bone in the human skull contains the sinuses known as the frontal sinuses? The options are parietal bone, ethmoid bone, phenoid bone and frontal bone. The right answer is frontal bone. The frontal sinuses are located within the frontal bone of the human skull. Let's move on to the 14th question. The bones that make up the cranial cavity are also known as. What do you call the bone those make cranial cavity? Options are facial bones, sutures, calvaria or mandible. The right answer is calvaria. The bones that make up the cranial cavity including the frontal, parietal, and occipital bones are collectively known as calvaria. The 15th question Which bone contains the glabella, a smooth area located between the eyebrows? Options are nasal bone, parietal bone, zygomatic bone, frontal bone. Answer is frontal bone. The glabella is found in the frontal bone located between the eyebrows. Next question. What is the purpose of fontanelles in an infant skull? Options are it is to protect the brain, to facilitate the hearing, to allow for a skull growth and to enhance vision. The right answer is to allow for skull growth. That is the purpose of Fontanelles in the infants. Let's move on to the question number 17. Which bone forms the upper jaw and the central part of the facial skeleton? Maxilla, mandible, zygomatic, nasal bone. The right answer is maxilla. The maxilla forms the upper jaw and the central part of the facial skeleton. Question number 18. 
the joint that connects the mandible to the temporal bone is called as suture joint balance socket joint hinge joint and temporomandibular joint tmj the right answer is temporomandibular joint tmj the joint that connects the mandible to the temporal bone is known as the temporomandibular joint tmj question number 19 if you are enjoying the video then please do like and support us by subscribing our channel let's continue the smallest facial bones in the human skull are in the human skull which are the smallest facial bones options are zygomatic bones palatine bones lacrimal bones or vomer bone the right answer is lacrimal bones the lacrimal bones are the smallest facial bones in the human skull located near the eyes question number 20 which bone is responsible for the formation of the nasal septum dividing the nasal cavity into two parts options are vomer bone vomer bone maxilla parietal bone occipital bone the right answer is vomer bone the vomer bone forms the nasal septum dividing the nasal cavity into two parts now let's move on to the 21 question which bone articulates with the atlas c1 and is responsible for nodding the head up and down options are occipital bone parietal bone temporal bone or phenoid bone the right answer is occipital bone does help us to nod our head up and down 22nd question the cheekbones also known as the malar bones are technically called as what do you call these uh, malar bones the cheekbones technically options are nasal bone zygomatic bones maxilla or lacrimal bones the right answer is zygomatic bones the cheek bones often referred to as the malar bones are technically called as zygomatic 23rd question which of the following bones is not a cranial bone so which one among these bones are not is not a cranial bone occipital bone phenoid bone zygomatic bone or parietal bone the right answer is zygomatic bone the zygomatic bone is a facial bone not a cranial bone 24th question the mastoid process a bony projection located behind the ear is a part of which bone in the skull answers are occipital bone temporal bone ethmoid bone or phenoid bone the right answer is temporal bone the mastoid process is located on the temporal bone behind the ear 25th question which of the following is not one of primary functions of the human skull protecting the brain housing the ears facilitating the respiration supporting the facial structures the correct answer is facilitating respiration the human skull does not play a direct role in the facilitating the respiration the function is primarily associated with the respiratory system right the 26th question what is the primary function of the temporal bones in the human skull vision hearing smell or taste right answer is hearing the temporal bones are crucial for housing the structures of the ear 27th question the cella trochaea a sadless shaped depression is located in which bone of the skull the options are parietal bone ethmoid bone schiphoid bone or occipital bone the right answer is phenoid bone the cella trochaea is a feature of the phenoid bone housing the pituitary gland 28th question which bone plays a significant role in the forming the nasal cavity and the roof of the mouth answers are vomer bone maxilla nasal bone or zygomatic bone the right answer is 
Maxilla. The maxilla contributes the formation of both nasal cavity and the roof of the mouth. 29th question. Which bone in the human skull contains the pituitary gland and plays a role in regulating hormonal functions? So, where is our pituitary gland in the skull? Which functions is to regulate the hormones? The options are parietal bone, frontal bone, phenoid bone or temporal bone. And the correct answer is phenoid bone. The phenoid bone contains the pituitary gland and plays a role in regulating hormonal functions. Let's move on to the 31st question. Which bone, commonly known as the cheekbone, forms part of the eye socket and the prominence of the cheek? The answers are maxilla, nasal bone, zygomatic bone or lacrimal bone. The right answer is zygomatic bone. The zygomatic bone forms part of the eye socket and the prominence of the cheek and it is often called the cheekbone. The last question of this session is, the skull consists of how many bones in the total, including both cranial and facial? And facial, the right answer is 16, options are 16, 22, 28, 32, right answer is 22. The human skull consists of 22 bones in total, including both cranial and facial bones. If this video helped you, then please support us by liking and subscribing our channel and please do click on the bell icon and select all notification to get the latest video when we upload for you so thank you so much for watching